What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare world. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Grogs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graug's heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Caragors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. Get her to chase you. I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. Speed.
Your life ends with the sting of my blade. See! Instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, hey? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the dwarf kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. I assume you know the path. The real question is, are you ready to travel it? Whatever happens during the hunt, think, what would Torben do? Actually, that's a good life lesson for you to follow always. I pray your training sticks, or else you'll stick to the wall once the mighty Graug hurls you there. I'm ready to fight the Graug. And that's just what you do. Fight! No art, no finesse! The hunt isn't about swinging and slashing, it's bigger than that! From your perspective, Dwarf, everything is bigger. Yes, this Graug is very, very big! Oh, oh wait, you're mocking me. Graugs are one of the oldest species of Mordor, and the deadliest by far. It's been a long time since I faced this Graug. Let us hope time wasn't as gentle to him as it was to me. 
My old partner and I once tracked a Graug from Mount Dolmen to Nogrod. We finally slayed it and got stuck under his leg for two days. Ah, those were fun times. Last time I saw the beast was when my old partner and I tracked it into his dwelling. How did you get out alive? Luck. The Graug knocked me senseless. When I came to, it had ended my partner. Facing that creature alone was a death sentence. I'd been hunting this Graug for almost a decade. That's a lot of years of dedication to one beast. Dedication? Or a sign you preach better than you hunt. Oh, that's funny, Captain. I'll be sure to laugh when the beast eats you alive. The mighty Graug will be my legacy. Dwarves will tell tales of Torvan the Hunter for generations. And I'll have them throw your name in there somewhere. Whoa! The corridors are too quiet. I don't think the Grog is home. <laughs> then we go in and we wait. Ambush. How military. I like it.
I think he's dead. <laughs> ah, 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 well, that's what I call beast hunting, eh? Indeed, indeed. Next time, I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, no, no. This is the last time. I have other prey to pursue. Well, you need help on your journey, so what you say? We put no, some no, shadows. No, 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 I have to do this on my own. <sighs> if you survive. <clears throat> Come to the Blue Mountains, eh? <laughs> and lots of friends that will drink until their kegs run dry. Well, I've seen how much a dwarf can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope our paths cross again. Right. Now, how do I get you out of here? <laughs> Talion killed a nobleman, Yoris. His life now belongs to Gondor. that Torvin finds his way home, now that his hunt is over. If he does, then he will find his home is not as he left it.